Good day, Math Giggling students! I am here, Teacher Jump, for another fun and exciting math time. In this video, I will be going to discuss a lesson from Quarter 3, Module 2 of Mathematics Grade 7. And here is the objective of our lesson, to define and identify the different kinds of angle pairs, such as complementary angles, supplementary angles, congruent angles, vertical angles, adjacent angles, and lastly, we have the linear pair. And because math time is fun time, let us answer the following. Classify the following angles. Well, let's start with this angle. Angle ABC is what angle? Very good. It is a reflex angle. How about angle 1? Correct. It is an acute angle. How about angle HER? Correct. It is an obtuse angle. How about angle HIS? Very good, it is a right angle. Great job! Now, let's start with the kinds of angle pairs. Number one is complementary angles. Two angles are complementary if the sum of their measures is 90. Consider this figure. We have angle LOV and angle VOE wherein measure angle LOV is equal to 51 and measure angle VOE is equal to 39. We can say that these two angles are complementary if the sum of their measures is 90. So let's check. 51 plus 39 is equal to what? Very good. It's 90. Therefore, the two angles or angle LOV and angle VOE are complementary angles. Consider this another example. We have angle HIS and angle HER, wherein measure angle HIS is equal to 28 and measure angle HER is equal to 62. Are they complementary? Yes, it is. Because 28 plus 62 is equal to 90. Therefore, we can say that angle HIS and angle HER are complementary angles. For the second kind of angle pairs, we have the supplementary angles. Two angles are supplementary if the sum of their measures is 180. Consider this figure. We have angle ATM and angle MTH, wherein measure angle ATM is equal to 44 and measure angle MTH is equal to 136. We can say that these two angles are supplementary angles if the sum of their measures is 180. Is the, are these two angles supplementary? Very good. Because the sum of the measures of these two angles is equal to 180. Now, let's check. 44 plus 136 is equal to 180. Now, let's proceed to another example. Consider this example number two. We have angle MAN and angle HOT, wherein measure angle MAN is equal to 36, and measure angle HOT is equal to 144. Then, are they supplementary angles? Very good, because 36 plus 
144 is equal to 180. Again, in supplementary angles, it's not necessary that these two angles are adjacent angles. The third angle pairs is the adjacent angles. Adjacent angles are two distinct angles with common vertex and a common side, but no interior points in common. Consider this example. We have angle 1 and angle 2 that shares a common vertex at point T and a common side at ray TM and no interior points in common. Therefore, angle 1 and angle 2 is an example of adjacent angles. Fourth is the linear pair. Linear pair is composed of two adjacent angles whose measure have the sum of 180. Consider this figure. We have angle AIP and angle PIR. Measure angle AIP is equal to 150 and measure angle PIR is equal to 30. So as you can see in this figure, angle AIP and angle PIR are adjacent angles because they share a common vertex which is at point I and a common side which is the ray IP. And next consideration, it must supplementary angles. We have measure angle AIP is equal to 150 and measure angle PIR is equal to 30. If we get the sum of the measures of these two angles, the result is 180. Therefore, angle AIP and angle PIR is or are supplementary. Since angle AIP and PIR are adjacent and supplementary angles, we can say that these two angles are linear pair. The fifth angle pairs is the congruent angles. Congruent angles are angles with the same measure. Consider this figure. We have angle ABC and angle RAT, wherein measure angle ABC is equal to 80 and measure angle RAT is equal to 80. As you can see, these two angles have the same measure. Therefore, angle ABC is congruent to angle RAT. A, T. So again, take note, this is the symbol for congruent. The sixth angle pairs is the vertical angles. Vertical angles are two non-adjacent angles formed by two intersecting lines. In addition, vertical angles are congruent. So consider this figure. We have two intersecting lines, line AT and line OP that intersect at point R which form four angles, namely angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, and angle 4 wherein we have two pairs of non-adjacent angles which is the first pair, angle 1 and angle 3, angle 2 and angle 4. From the definition of vertical angles, these two angles or non-adjacent angles that form by these two intersecting lines are what we call the vertical angles. Angle 1 and angle 3 are vertical angles and angle 2 and angle 4 are also vertical angles. Another definition of vertical angles, vertical angles are congruent. Therefore, we can say that angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. And angle 2 is congruent to angle 4. Before we end, let's have an activity. Let us complete the table. Find the complement of the following angles whose measures are given. For number 1, very good, it's 47 degrees. For number 2, the complement of angle 2 is very good. 34 degrees. How about for number 3? Very good. It's 3 degrees. 
Next, find the supplement of the following angles whose measures are given. For number 4, we have, very good, it's 68 degrees. How about number 5? Correct, it's 105 degrees. How about for number 6? Correct, it's 151 degrees. Now, let us name the relationship of angle 1 and angle 2. Using the following figure, we have this figure. Angle 1 and angle 2 is... Very good, a linear pair or an adjacent angles. How about this figure? Angle 1 and angle 2, very good. They are complementary angles. How about this figure? Very good. It's a vertical angles. How about this figure? Very good. It is an adjacent angles. You did a great job. Thank you for watching and listening. See you again to our next video. I hope this video will help you in answering your quarter 3 module 2.